Everything about this video is going to relate to a single statement. To be or not to be. I hope you like that play on words. My name is Amy. Welcome to another video review on the Penventure YouTube channel. Today we're going to have a guest. It's not from Italy, so this is why I'm calling it a guest. But you will see at the end of the video that this is quite a special guest for us. Onoto is a pen manufacturer from England, established in 1905. They have tons of history and the legacy is following each and every single design that they come to the market with. In this review, I would like to delight your senses with the Hamlet, which is part of the Onoto limited editions and it is a beautiful fountain pen based on the 1937 Onoto Magna, the, the model. This is the box of the pen right here and first of all I will start with the ownership experience, then we will move into some of the details of this collection and what makes it so, so special. Then we will have a size comparison, writing sample, and in the end I will share some of my opinions based on having this fountain pen for the past few months. We are going to open the box, inside we will have this beautiful, beautiful pen box, which is phenomenal. 99% I'm sure this is real wood. So you have a very, very luxurious box. It's a clamshell style box. We are going to open it like so. And first of all, we have the certificate of authenticity from Onoto. This confirms that the enclosed pen is a genuine Onoto product handmade to the highest standard Hamlet, 14th of December 2020, the day I received the font pen. It's quite a limited edition after all, only 100 pieces. Thank you to the entire team at Onoto Fang and anyone who's watching this because they made this review possible. We are going to have the font pen in this sleeve right here, resting in the slot. Let's remove this pillow and under it you will find a Onoto card which states, with eternal pride we entrust this Onoto pen to your custodianship. Custodianship lasts a lifetime and this is why we offer a lifetime guarantee on all our pens and that sounds really really special for me. Then we have a care guide and how to care for your Onoto font pens and we have a few information regarding hallmarks for sterling silver and in this enclosed envelope you will find a polishing cloth for the silver parts of the pen. Voila! This is the Onoto Hamlet. I was specific about wanting to review the Hamlet font pen because Hamlet is one of my favorite plays from William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, the well-known England poet, writer, it's a national treasure and I love Hamlet. It's a tragedy, not something that you would like in the way the events are following in the play, but I love it as art. I want to walk you through all of the details of this incredible fauna pen, then we will have a size comparison, writing sample, and in the end I will share some of my personal thoughts after using this fountain pen for the past few months. Details first. And we have the finial. On this finial it's flat and on it you have the Onoto logo. And this is very interesting because in that logo you can identify all letters of the name of the company. O -no -to. You have a full circle, meaning the first O, an N, a reverse T and two O's. O no to. I just simply love how they hide the entire name of the company in such a small detail like this logo and I love the creativity level of this aspect. Moving further we have this part right here which holds the finial and that is made in black resin and this resin is very very nicely polished and it has a lot of depth. Then we have the clip. This is very synonymous with Onoto because I've seen this style of a clip on many of their models and I think this is a nice nice clip. On this clip we have another Onoto logo 
Again, you can identify all letters of the name of the company. Pay attention because this clip is quite stiff. I hope I'm not mistaken. This is made out in sterling silver. I draw this conclusion after seeing this clip getting patina on it. You would not clip this fountain pen quite easy and avoid clipping this fountain pen on a very thick fabric because you may broke this clip. The shape of the cap is quite, quite simple. It's not tapering in it's not doing anything and it's completely straight we are going to have the first let's say visual impact seeing this resin because this is made in part white pearlescent resin and part black resin it is a play on the actual Hamlet the play because it's black white life death in Hamlet we have a let's say reflection of life and death and the choices you make i think this aspect is very well interpreted in the font pen that we have in front of us part black part white resin all of the sides are aligning from the cap to the barrel and everything flows so well we have this cap band which is engraved stamped or i don't know how this is made but it has a ton of details and we have the skull that's the symbol for death it is crowned because uh, hamlet is about a prince so this is why we have the crown on the skull to the best of my knowledge this design is taken from the first folio uh, from the first edition of the hamlet it's all around the cap on the opposite side of the clip we have the hallmarks for sterling silver and here we have quite a few you can actually hit pause and read all informations on this let's uncap the font pen and we are going to use three complete turns if you are the type of person that is writing down something then capping uncapping and does this constantly throughout the day three turns may be too much for you i don't know i don't have a problem with this and now we are greeted by the beautiful onoto 18 karat gold nib and this is quite a sight this 18 karat gold nib is so so beautiful two-tone they have a self system on how to engrave stamp display logos on the nibs onoto is using 18 ct carats standing for the gold content of the alloy a big seven which is the actual size of the nib the nibs are available in three sizes fine medium broad but you can actually ask for custom grinds along with your purchase from their website you can actually check the box and ask for a designed grind a italic oblique stop abs plastic feed it's friction fitted inside a nib unit that screws in the section you can actually purchase separately nib units from onoto that is quite quite handy and now let's tackle the aspect with ergonomics we are going to take a closer look at the section this is quite a ergonomic section i don't find anything wrong with it the actual shape of the section is quite simple it starts to flare out from the nib. It has this ridge near the nib. Then it starts to pick up in girth and it's made in black resin like the rest of the fountain pen. It's very, very smooth. Then we have the transition in between the barrel and the section. And this is smooth. You actually can't feel the transition between the section and the barrel. The only visual marker is those white lines let's tackle the other aspects of the design we have the barrel the barrel features the grooves that are used to cap the font pen those are not sharp at all and they are quite high right here i cannot imagine someone holding the font pen by those like so because i don't know who is writing like this i'm not if you were to hold the font pen by those strats i don't find anything uncomfortable about it the shape of the barrel is quite straight so we have no tapering in no nothing whatsoever and it runs till this point right here straight then we have a tapering in and we have a flat completely flat and 
phenyl. It has this silver medallion and you can actually spot the beauty of this resin and how it's constructed. This ridge is quite quite sharp. It's not sharp in a way that's bothering you but it's cut to a 90 degree angle. We find the following engraved on the barrel. Onoto the pen made in England. In relationship with the nib on the opposite side right here we have the limited edition number and the actual beauty of it is that you can order it with multiple options but we are going to go into more details after the writing sample regarding those options and now let's check the filling system of the Omnoto Hamlet. Let's unscrew the barrel and voila! we have the plunge filler. This is very interesting and to the best of my knowledge, this is the only pen company that has this system. And I think this is where we, the rest of the pen community need to learn a little bit more because it's interesting and it's quite, quite practical. So you actually have a cartridge converter font pen with the section like so. This is how I'm going to remove the filling system. Now you can plug in cartridge converter, cartridges and the plunge filler which is offered from the Onoto pen company. The plunge filler snaps like this. You can use it as a vacuum filler fountain pen. It's quite a pricey option but it does matter because this is why I opted for it. It's going to offer different feel for the font pen. The font pen is quite light for its size. This filling system adds a little bit of needed weight. I like it a lot. I think it's very practical. You can actually order the font pen in any configuration that you want. Maybe you can have more funds available after you order it with a cartridge converter and you want to swap it to a plunge filler. You can do that. This is brilliant. Genius. Now let's close the font pen because this is inked and now let's move into a size comparison. Then we will have a writing sample and in the end I will share some of my thoughts regarding the Onoto Hamlet. Here we have the Onoto Hamlet side by side with different font pens. From left to right we have Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog, Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande Pura, Onoto Hamlet, Stipula Etruria Alter Ego Classic and ASC Bologna Extra in Wild Cracked Celluloid. Capped the font pen measures 144 millimeters, uncapped 127 millimeters, posted 166 millimeters. The total weight of the font pen with the plunger filler and fully inked and capped is 33.5 grams and uncapped is 20 grams. And now here we go with the writing sample. So we have the pen and this is the Onoto, the Hamlet, the ink, of course, Mont Blanc or Mont Blanc. William Shakespeare. The nib is a size 7, 18 CT standing for carrots, and this is a fine point. The paper, of course, 52 GSM, my favorite paper, Tomoy River paper. And now let's check the flow. Like I told you in the review, this is a wet nib. It's not a fire hose wet, but for a fine out of the box, it's quite, quite wet. And I love this fact. Now let's see some normal figure of eight and this is quite a fine nib it's not Japanese fine but it's fine it's practical it can be used now let's apply some pressure and see how this nib performs it does offer quite a bit of line variation I wouldn't call it a flex nib but don't try to go overboard with it because you can 
very easy spring this nib. Now let's do the famous sentence and check how this nib performs. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. No hesitation, no hard starts, nothing whatsoever. This nib is quite smooth. It has a little bit of feedback, but nothing unpleasant. Everything is flawless. Welcome back. It's time to share some of my personal opinions regarding the Onoto Hamlet. Let me tell you that I don't consider myself a person that opens very easy to new pen brands, especially the ones that are not from Italy. And um, the Onoto as a brand, first time that I've seen a fun pen from them was at the London Pen Show on the table of one of my good friends, John Shiroka. And I was impressed of the actual design unique features, the solid quality of the build of this font pen, which made me to get into contact with the guys at Onoto and have this review for everyone. I have to say that I'm impressed of all of the aspects. I love the story. I love what they are doing there. And we have another piece from Onoto, which I'm very, very eager to review in another video coming. I love the Hamlet. I love how it looks. I love the unique way how the Onoto nibs are riding. The 18 karat gold nibs are very unique. They have a hint of a feedback, very, very pleasant feel. They are wet, smooth. It's a fun band that I'm using it posted because it's quite light, regardless if it's equipped with the more advanced filling system, the plunger filler, which adds a little bit of weight. Actually, you can add extra weight because I checked the website and you have a few options available. Let's go through some of the options that are listed on the website so you guys can better understand how to go about them. So we have a base price for the fountain pen at 575 euros. If we add a 18 karat gold nib, and I'm suspecting this fun pen comes with the steel nib in 575 euros configuration, we have a extra 167 euros for the 18 karat gold nib. Then we go a tier up and we have nib modification. So we have another around 80 euros if you want the nib to be grounded to a specific way, size, uh, italic stub, uh, oblique, I don't know, wherever you like. Then we have an extra 36 euros for engraving. So if you want your nimi neutrals engraved or anything like this, you can use this option. Then we have an added weight. Just like I told you, you can add weight, 32 grams. And this option costs 18 euros. So let's check that. If you want a plunger filler, the system that I have on this fountain pen, we're going to check that. And that option is quite pricey 262 euros so let's check that also we have another option and that is the additional roller ball kit so i guess you can get another section for the barrel and the cap and you can have a roller ball and a fountain pen at the same time and the final price of the fountain pen with all options checked is 1218 euros i think that's pricey but let's put in perspective what you get in that amount. You get a totally unique font pen, limited edition, that you fully customize for your taste in regards of weight, nib, nib grind, weight, uh, engraving, and also you have an additional rollable at your disposal. So you get a lot of options. I don't have anything wrong regarding this font pen or anything about it that not on my taste. Thank you to the guys at Onoto for making this possible. If you want to show some love through them, you can go to their Instagram or their Facebook page 
or their website. You will find all of the links in the description of this video. You can follow them, give them a like and show them that you like what they are creating. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, give it a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the algorithm and everything else to reach out to many more just like you. If you want to support me doing videos like this, subscribe to the Pan Venture YouTube channel by clicking here and turn the notification bell on so you know whenever we have new content on our platform. If you want to see another video, click on this one right here and enjoy it. My name is Amy and I look forward to seeing you next video. Stay safe, take care, bye bye.